Hey, where's Enjo? The bell's about to ring. I'm sure it'll be fine. Good morning, everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have you back after your long break from March. I'm looking forward to going over some chapter 19 things with you today and we can talk story a little bit. So... Hey, Miss Williams. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I had to make a few stops. <laughs> oh, Angel, you're tardy. Please come have a seat. Could you take out your ear pods for me? Thank you. Today, we're going to go over chapter 19. Hey guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here and um, participating in our um, chapter 19 refresher. And don't forget to be kind. And we're gonna head out to recess now and we'll have a great day. Hey, hey, Angel, can you stay for a moment? Can we talk? Hey, Angel, thanks for, stay for staying. Um, you know, it's really difficult. I only get to see you guys like once or twice a week. And it's really important to me that you learn responsibility. So what if everyone came late? What would you do? How would we be able to have class? No, I guess there wouldn't be enough time. Yeah, before we had to send our students to the office to get a tardy pass. But now you, our time is so valuable. We'll be holding you and all of your fellow students accountable for your attendance. But Mrs. Williams, I wasn't that late. The cave bikes just finished, there was traffic, and I was hungry. I understand, Angel, but if we don't hold you accountable, what could happen? Let's just give you an example. Let's say you came to school every day late and I didn't say anything, eventually you'll start to come later and later, and eventually other students will see that it's okay also to be tardy. And after 40 minutes, even if you are present but tardy, it counts as an unexcused absence. At this rate, you won't learn anything, especially since we only see you a few times. Being on time and managing your attendance now will be a better prepare you for life after high school. Tardiness and unexcused absences are not tolerated in a workplace. And in college, it shows that you really don't value your investment in your education and that others are paying for it. So it's kind of difficult. So you need to show your responsibility. Thanks, Mrs. Williams. I understand. I'll do my best to get to class on time. There's not many students on campus anymore, so there really isn't any excuse for me to be late. Hey, Angel, thank you so much for listening. I just, um, next time I hope you come to class on time, and I'm looking really forward to seeing you and working with you this year. Hope you have a great day, thanks. Hey, Angel, Starbucks for me next time? No, I need to get in class on time and so should you. Okay.